thank you very much for coming to this fourth and final mayoral global debate. The three that have preceded this debate have in many respects, I think, fed into this platform, this discussion. We've had sessions on finance, we've had sessions on Asia, we've had sessions on the environment. And this final debate aims to pull together many of those insights, many of those discussions, but to take them a step further, to discuss really cities as crucibles of change, past, present, and future. And I think when I reflect myself on the work I do uh, with cities around the world, cities are very much at the confluence of so many of the world's important trends in governance, in economics, in trade, in the environment, culturally, socially, across the board. We're seeing cities and urbanization and the urban environment being very much the site of action for the 21st century. And I think as cities wrestle with this trilemma of how to create urban spaces that allow us to, to live, to work, to play in a way that is livable, sustainable, but also attractive economically and that allows us to continue to develop economically and socially, I think we have a fascinating set of speakers for you today. I'll invite, uh, as in a second, uh, more of the speakers to join us uh, and to have a, a broader introduction. But we have a fantastic uh, set of speakers. For me personally, for those of you who are here, uh, who are like me and are in some form or another uh, city geeks, uh, put your hands up if you're a city geek. I'm a bit of a city geek. Okay, we've got a, a good contingent of city geeks. Um, really, the spotlight speakers, who I'll introduce the format in a second, are fantastic. But it's a huge pleasure for me to be moderating this debate with uh, Sasky Assassins. Uh, I won't introduce her. Kit will introduce her. Uh, but for any of you who have followed this debate about cities and globalization, uh, she really is one of the legends of the field, uh, and it's a real privilege. So that's the tee up for today's discussion. But let me just run through a few small pieces of logistics before handing over. The first is that we want to try and make this interactive. And so the format is set up as follows. We will start in a second. The deputy mayor will give his introduction. And then Saskia will have 20 minutes to really set out her stall of this issue of cities as crucibles of global change. We'll then have a, a short Q&A, and then I'll invite a series of what we've called spotlight speakers to give short input, short questions that she'll respond to. And then we'll open it up to you, the audience, and make sure that we really keep it interactive because there are, I'm sure, 100 to 200 experts in various different parts of globalization and cities sat here in the audience. So that's the format in the next hour and a half to two hours. In parallel, we want to try and make sure that this is open to people out there watching this live on Merrill TV. Uh, tomorrow, this will be broadcast. I believe in the next few days, it will be broadcast on CNBC. We want to make sure that it's an interactive and open platform. And so we want to try and use social media. Uh, for any of you who are on Twitter, the hashtag will be London Debates. As you'll see in a second, I will just also talk you through how we're going to use voting buttons. So you all have a toy, or you should all have a toy. Does everybody have a toy? Very good. OK. Um, so what we'd also like to do is to open this up through the rest of the afternoon. We have Peter here, who doesn't like to be called a social media guru, but is our social media guru. Uh, and he will be monitoring the Twitter feeds. If you have a question that you would like to ask, or if you would like to ask the audience as a whole, please do feed that through, and we'll try to pick it up as we go. And that leaves me my final logistical point, which is these voting buttons. So relatively simple. Uh, what we want to try and do is just take a straw poll of opinion at various different stages uh, of the debate. If we bring up the first question, we're going to just run this one as a test to get you warmed up for it. 
This actually is a real question that we wanted to ask. David and I were talking about this beforehand. I think one of the things that we see in cities around the world, I certainly think we see that in London, I certainly think against the backdrop of the Olympics and the extraordinary human talent on display here uh, in London uh, for these two weeks and for the next two weeks with the Paralympic Games, the people question in cities is increasingly central and increasingly prominent. Cities are competing around the world to attract talent, to be the most livable, to be the most sustainable, to be the most economically viable places. And what's absolutely crucial to that, we often talk about economic trends, we talk about technology trends, but actually the people trend is, is particularly poignant for a city like London. So, an internationally diverse and cosmopolitan po population is an essential component of maintaining competitive advantage as a global city. If, in a second, when I ask you to start voting, you strongly agree, press one. If you agree, press two. If you neither agree nor disagree, press three. Four disagree, five, you get the point. Right, so with that being said, you'll each have 20 seconds to vote when I say vote now. Do you have to hit send? Yes. Apparently not. <laughs> you don't have to hit send. Very good. So that was a bit of a setup question. Um, so I, thought, I think we probably expected you to say so. But we will get into talking through some of these people issues as we go for the rest of the afternoon. So do interact, do engage. I hope you have a fantastic afternoon. Uh, I'll try and do my best to make sure that your questions get across and that we have a rich debate. Uh, and with that, uh, please let me introduce Kit Malthouse, who's the Deputy Mayor for Business and Enterprise, who will give the introduction. Thank you very much. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.